Welcome to another episode of Desarian Plays EverQuest 2 TLE Time Lock Expansion. Uh, when we last left off, I was uh, around, I think, level 10, and I had just jetted off into the common lands um, to do some grinding and some questing. Um, it wasn't anything really interesting that I think you guys wanted to see on camera. Um, so I'm, I am kind of did a lot on my own. <laughs> uh, anyway, you can see here I'm a level 12 Ogre Berserker now. Um, I've got, you can see, got a couple of pieces of gear that were not crafted. These were looted. Um, I found that you need to really do all of the suburb quest, like the ruins and the sprawl, especially the sprawl. Once you get a certain, I think, reputation, you can start doing repeatable quest, and that'll help jet you up to level 12 pretty quickly. And once you get to level 12, that's kind of where those end. Um, I think the sprawl does actually go a little higher than that because uh, the ogres in there are like level 15. Let's uh, log in here and I'll get started on what we're going to do today. All right, so today I thought I'd mix it up a little bit. Uh, I could have gone into the common lands and shown you guys some more questing out there, uh, but I wanted to try something a little different. I can see here I am right by the Thieves' Way which is the sewer system underneath the Freeport. I know there's a couple of quests in here and I've looked them up. Uh, I'm not, I don't think I've ever done these quests. I've done just a tiny bit in here a long time ago. Um, so we're gonna see if we can do some questing down here for a little bit. Uh, it might be a little lower level than 12 than I'm at or it might be right at it. I'm hoping it's right at it. Either way, I think it's uh, useful because it's probably something a lot of people aren't doing. Um, so let's see what happens when we go down there. Yeah, and in case you didn't know, there's thieveways, potholes everywhere. Oh, there are people down here. It's a level 15 Templar. All right, and I looked it up, and there is like one quest that starts down here. Um, but then it kind of leads into some other quest. And then there's even a lower level to this that is like level 25. So we might be coming back to visit this later on. And I don't think this is where this is at. I might have already messed up. You can get lost down here and as you can see my map is unavailable. Uh, I'm not running any mods and um, they haven't put this in the game like they used to, or they did. You can see this is a pretty neat little area. All these things are below level on me though, so I don't know that this is going to be good. Let's see. I'm trying, I need to find, there's like one quest quiver down here. I may have to look this up. <laughs> I'm not just running around in the sewers while I'm on camera here. With all the frogs and the rats. Alright, so we've gone back to this area. I know there's like a connected area. Except here. Yes, okay. No, that's not it. Union members working, the rats working the sewers. Ah, here we go. So we've got, there's another person. Tomb Fury with a kanji. Alright, we go up this, this way over here to this drain. And there is going to be a hidden guy over here. Zatsy. Go, get away from me, I'm hiding. I told you to leave. I don't want to draw attention to myself. Go away. What are you hiding from? I told you to leave me alone. If they find me, they'll kill me. They are already killed everyone else, and I'm the only one left. They killed them. There is nothing I can do. What was I supposed to do? I'm just a small Ratanya. Little, so little. You did this. The Dark Blades did it. They're all killers. You find them in the sewers. It's a fitting place for the filth. You do, you do me a favor to kill them, kill them all, and I'll tell you where the secret den is, and you can find much wealth there. Oh, that sounds like a deal. And we'll get a, a club. Uh, that would be decent for a second hand uh, if 
I could use it as a second hand. I don't know if I can. Accept quest. Let's see what it looks like. <laughs> it's just a club. Okay. All right. So we need to. Oops. I still have one quest here. I don't want that. All right. Kill the dark blade brigands to recover the trinket. Okay. So we've got to find some of these. And instead of running around aimlessly, oh wait, right there, look at that guy. Of course he's level 7, we're not going to get an experience from this guy. You can see I've got a couple of more skills on my bar since I've leveled up. No quest I haven't found. So these guys are going to be just wandering around, aren't they? Yep, yeah, because there's another one right there. Oh, no, it's a scout. There's a brigand. I have found on this TLE server that... Ooh, this offers a new quest, so we'll have to look at that here in a second. Um... That... You really want to take things your level or lower. Whenever you start getting, you can take a level or level higher, but the it's a lot slower to kill. A lot slower, at least right now it is. Um, and I would just much rather, for myself, rather kill something my level or lower. Of course, I don't really like killing these greys, but that's what we're gonna do since I came in here so late. And I should have came in here earlier. Would have been more fun. But it's good to show stuff exists down here. And actually, let's before we kill these other guys, let's see what this uh, trinket, this dagger was. Found a call to duty hidden within the hilt of the de dark blade daggers. The order mentions promise of reward delivered through the dagger itself to those who slay no less than ten disease ratonga. I will slay Tin Ratanya and perhaps reap the benefits of fulfilling this duty. Okay. Uh, you just get this dagger, basically. Makes sense. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love AoE damage. That's the best. That's the reason I like my Warlock so much. I'm hoping this guy has more AoE than what we're seeing, but I don't think he, I don't know, I don't know much about our Berserkers. And the Mystical Fear, which also offers a quest, so let's see what that one does. I have found a magic stone that contains the spirit of former Dark Blade Rogue. The spirit within has pleaded with me to avenge their death and free their spirits. I agreed to kill the chanters who are responsible for the rogues and prince of it. And that'll give me a neck piece. Not that I could use it. It's a petrified heart. Oh, let's read this. This this humanoid heart has been petrified and scorch block. Every detail of the organ has been flawlessly preserved, revealing a distant former life and function. A cold and lifeless it may be now, it does not feel quite a stone to the touch. It's soft like chalk and leaves a residue of ash on your fingers. Mm. As you continue the probe, the heart, the heart with your curiosity, its seemingly sturdy form cracks and crumbles. Within a short moment, it falls away to dust in your grasp, leaving behind a pearl-sized metallic orb amidst the layers of black ash in your hand. Your fingers touch the smooth, glossy surface of the metallic orb, its once cool temperature suddenly becomes cold as ice, burning your fingers with the threat of frostbite. The sensation rushes through your arm and into your skull, bringing with it the distant echo of desperate plea. Do not leave me to this tortured silence. Please do not deny my vengeance. Who are you? All right, sorry about that. I am one among the dead and forgotten. This cannot be undone, but still have need of you. Lend me your steel. Lend, let me guide in 
it to vengeance. You will know great power in the end. I will show you a strength of the stone. What is the strength of the stone? I can show you. I will show you, but only in oblivion. I absorb the power. It sustains me, but I cannot break free of it of my own. Kill my murderers and release their hold on me. That is the only way you will have this power. Who are your murderers? The chanters. Oh, again with the chanters. They must be evil guys. They have a lab beneath the city where they are guarded by dark blades who, who they serve. They must answer for what they have done to me. They must die. Please lift this torturous spell. Let me know oblivion. All right, what did they do? You need to hurry this up. I was a dark blade once, but they found another use for me. They imprisoned me in my skeletal cage and bound my spirit to the stone. I still feel the pain of the ritual. The filthy sewer air still sings my naked heart. My own cries of ag agony still echo in this purgatory. What did you do to earn this punishment? I did nothing. I did not know why I was chosen for this pain, but it must end. Their death must break the spell. Kill them all. It's the only way. Do this, and I will show you the strength of the stone. I will send you to oblivion, if that is your desire. Yes, yes, my friend, my savior. Kill them. Kill the netherot chanters and release me all right that's that's pretty uh crazy so we're gonna chill kill these guys i wish i was more of the level here to do this and uh let's go back over here oh walked right into that I guess I don't know Ritonya. Right. These aren't all Ritonyas, those are humans. I don't know what they're speaking either, I wonder why. It's kind of weird. Now I can go to a vendor, like a li linguistic vineyard vendor, and you can buy like all of the books to figure out all of their languages, or a lot of languages that I don't know. Uh, it's not very useful right now. But I have returned to, I can go ahead and return to Zati. Let's see what she has to say. If I remember how to get there. She was over here. Yeah. No. Oh man, I'm already turned around. Yeah, it's a pretty, pretty dank and dirty place. Oh yes, it was right over here, I think. Oh, nope. remember you can see the ladder down her hall. Oh, there's a chanter. Kick its butt. Okay, maybe it was in here. Holy cow! So easy to get turned around in here. Ah, there it is. It's also a way to get between the different areas of Freeport easily. Because right over there you can click on the grates and see where where to go. You're back. Did you kill them all? All are dead? Did you find the trinket? Oh yeah. This is very good news for little me, but very bad news for you. That's no trinket, you fool. It's a key to the Dark Blade's den. And now they're all dead. I can plunder it to my little black heart's content. What? Oh, little jerk. Okay. Zaddy tried to betray me. That was not smart. I'm a big ogre. Why would she do that? So, I think I'm going to try to equip this in my shield slot. Because yeah. I just don't need my shield right now. And I've been looking for something with a little bit of damage to put in there. 
could have gone to market and found something, but I've been lazy. Let's see if there's any of these other guys. Of course, you would think. Do I have her trinket? I don't know. Like, if there's actually was a den, I could get to it. Is that right? Let's make them feel yeah, there's that. That was it. Just she betrays you, and you take her thing. So, all right. I think I do want to kill some more chanters if I can. So, yeah, I, I've way out leveled this. If I was like level 10, I think this would probably be really good. It's just a couple of levels too high. Everything's. Good for me. Yeah, you're gonna die. getting good stuff off loots. I got a master for my raging blow and these these sleeves that I'm I'm wearing. I got those off a, a, a named wild dog sprawl. Definitely times to leave. Definitely times to leave. Marius and Lady Dartblade. Chaos. Some impending meal. Make sure I get through this. Which I don't know if I will. Just dropped a treasure chest. She's just a one up, so hopefully I can make it before I die. Just enough to give me a little extra damage. Get it. Die, lady. Yay. Yeah. Two treasure chests. I wanted an exquisite. Buckler. And another buckler. Great. Two bucklers. What the hell? Was not good because I have with 130 production and each of these has 43 production so that does me no good oh well that was just a Just explore around a little more. The Den of Dark Blades. Alright, here I am in the Den of Dark Blades. So this is what Zatsy was talking about. And I'm gonna have to fight my way through it. I don't know what's at the end, maybe a named. I don't know if this is part of a quest line or not, so I may be. Who knows what I'm doing? Wow, look at all that detriment. 
any spells firing off on me. That's not good. So this could be a challenge. I may die, die in here. Unless my... I might get a mini ding here in a minute that'll fire up my head that I'll be able to survive. And if I survive it, next time I'll pop off a chaos before I start. Shoot. No, no, that guy. Oh crap, I am going to die. Oh, ho, 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 look at there. <laughs> Just in time. All right. I like that. Next time I'll be more prepared for whatever it's going to happen. <laughs> yes, okay. Let's see what's in here. Is that all? It's a one room thing? Like, what's the point here? Points just for me to die? To know that it's here? To know that Zatsy wasn't lying? Right, oh my gosh, there's no way. It's six of these guys? Fast, I'm going down. That's not good at all. It'd be all right if I could fire off my AOE a lot, a lot more, but I can. Why I'm moving? It's not like position matters for this guy. If you want a positional class, then you want to play like a, a, a brigand, or a swashbuckler. Fun, what little I've played them. So maybe I will, but then I get lazy. I don't want to move around. Come on. I'm going to die. Arr, arr, arr. And I guess there was no point to this except to die. Revive. All right. Well, so just just go in there if you just want to take on some six mobs, like six mobs at a time, because I don't see a purpose of going in there at all. Oh, man. Yeah, this would be actually a little tough a couple of levels lower, because everything would attack you all the time. And uh, it's very tight quarters. Hard to get around. could complete oh my gosh what have I done <laughs> oh my gosh luckily these are free but I'm running out of mana that's not good oh my god look at this if I die again if I die again it would be my just desserts Heroic. That one gives me a buff, I think. See, so it increases my attack, increases damage by quite a bit. So that was a good one. And yeah, look at this one. I might make it out alive if I get a mini ding again. And I'm out of mana. Great! Great, great, great. There it is. All right. <laughs> it's twice by the skin of my teeth. I like living on the edge.
And another tin spear. Oh, just a lot of junk. Okay. Get out of here. Get this chant. Wish I knew where one more of those was. So I could complete that other quest with the black heart before we get out of here. I definitely want to come back here when we get around level 25. Because uh, there's other quests down below. Yeah, yeah, and I haven't seen the grate for it, but there's a grate somewhere that takes you down below, I think. Let's see each one of these. No, not those. Disease, no, no. So I say there's also the disease Ratangia I need, but I need ten of those. And oh, I just need one more chanter. Okay, let's see. Still haven't found my chanter, but look at this guy. There's a weaponsmith, armorsmith. What the heck? area yet. Alright, uh, I didn't, oh, I got too close. Jerks. Alright. Alright, so I just killed the one. I had to kind of wait. It looks like there's only one chanter in this whole place, so that's not cool. But uh, where's my warb? There it is. So we're going to expect that again. Aha! Get the tiny metallic orb. A poor orb appears to have grown calm and silent. The bitter touch of the stone has begun to fade. Soothing warmth washes over your hand that clutches the stone. The spirit has fled, and the power of the stone has been relinquished to your command. So that was the end of that. All right. And with that, we're going to wrap up this episode. I appreciate you guys watching. If you made it this far, you know, give me a thumbs up. Give me a like, you know, like, and uh, give me comments, subscribe, whatever you want to do. Just uh, appreciate you watching and tune in next time. Bye.